What's going on you guys? Nick here with another video. Today I'm going to show you how to set up shared folders using Ubuntu Desktop. Let me minimize that OBS there. Okay, so a lot of people have asked me how to set up shared folders with this and make it work. So today I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. The first thing you need to do is make sure that you have your guest editions installed. So you just go to devices in your VirtualBox window choose insert guest edition CD image it's that easy it pops up and it says it's intended to be automatically started would you like to run it yes let it run and it will prompt you for your password also this tutorial assumes that you already have Ubuntu set up if you don't check my link in the description to the other video where I show you how to set up and install Ubuntu in a virtual machine on a Windows PC all right here we're gonna hit authenticate and it's going to do some stuff in the terminal for us. It's saying installing additional modules and VirtualBox guest edition. So it's telling me the kernel modules will not be replaced until the system is restarted. So we'll hit enter to close the window. We can go ahead. Well, let's leave that mounted for now and click the power button. Click restart. We'll wait. All right, so once it has rebooted and you are back at your desktop screen here, you can go ahead and unmount the guest edition CD image and you can check to make sure that it installed properly by hitting the right control key, holding it down and striking F and you now have access to total full screen mode whereas before you would have had a window about this size in the middle of a where the rest of the screen being black if you went to full screen. All right, so the next thing you want to do now is shut off your virtual machine, power off your virtual machine. And so we will just hit power off, hit OK. The machine is powered off. We want to make sure it is powered off and not in a saved state. So you want to check it here where it says powered off. Then you want to go into settings, hit shared folders, and you can see I have none here. We'll go over to this little blue folder, click add, folder path, click the drop down arrow unless you know it already. And we'll just click new folder and we will name this Ubuntu share and where to go there it is we'll click select folder click auto mount click OK and we are good to go there and then we'll boot our machine back up and I'll bring you back right at the desktop alright here we are back at the desktop and you'll see we already have an icon for this SF Ubuntu share here on our desktop uh, display. So instead of doing that, I'm going to go through the file manager because I want to show you something. So you'll see if we click on this, you'll see it says you do not have the permissions necessary to view the contents of SF, which stands for shared file Ubuntu share. So what we need to do is add ourselves to the group of users that has access to that. So we need to open up a terminal. You can hold Control Alt and Strike T, or you can find it in the Applications menu. Uh, you need to type sudo for super user do, and I'll put this code in the description so you can copy and paste it if you want to. sudo add user, your username, which in my case it's master, um, and then we need to choose the group, which is vbox sf, which is VirtualBox shared folder it will ask you to enter your password. Your pseudo password is just the password that you use to log in to Ubuntu. And it says, done, adding user. Now, we're not quite done yet because it hasn't taken effect. It doesn't take effect until you restart the machine. So since we're still in terminal, we'll just type reboot, strike enter. But I'm not gonna make you guys wait too long unless takes me that long to finish talking about this so uh, as all of you know with the ad apocalypse and all of that a lot of people are turning to affiliate marketing and there's two reasons I haven't done that one this is a hobby for me and I enjoy it and two my channels not big enough to become like an influencer or anything for other products but what I can do is do some Amazon affiliate marketing so if you want to support my channel you can one subscribe you can like my videos or you can click on some of the links in the description to products that I use that I think you might find useful as well and you know if you don't 
like those products, don't buy them. I'm not selling anything. I'm trying to simply share things that I use that help me get things done and let you get those products for yourself. Anyway, those links are in the description at the very bottom, so you have to look for them. Um, I don't like posting, you know, the information you need in among the links. Instead, I post the information you need at the top and post the optional things at the bottom. Anyway, we're back at the login screen. Let's go ahead and log in. And it takes it a second again because I'm on not not excellent hardware for running virtual machines, but it gets there eventually. All right, here we are back at the main screen. And if we've done everything correctly, we should be able to go into files or you can actually click this icon here, but I like to go through the file manager and then click this SF Ubuntu share and you'll see that the folder is empty. So let's put something in it, shall we? So let's see if I minimize Ubuntu and show you infinitely many desktops. Come back, let's see, where do I wanna go? This PC, Windows, Users, Me, Ubuntu Share, and let's make a new folder within Windows on here. No, let's just make a text document and let's name it um, just new text document is fine. So now if we hop back into Ubuntu, click out, click back in to our folder, our shared folder, you'll see there's a new text document. So our shared folder is working. And now what you could do is within Windows, you could actually share this on the network to other people, but we're not going to get into that. That exceeds the scope of this video. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it helped you out. Again, please subscribe to my channel. Leave a like on this video. Feel free to leave comments down below with questions about how to get this done or if you encounter issues and I or somebody else will try to help you. And you can also leave comments with suggestions for future videos or other things that you would like to see done either with virtual machines, with Samsung devices, whatever. I make videos about a lot of different things on this channel. Anyway, thanks again for watching and I will see you in the next video.